So this is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn. All that I need to know about a situation, your person, where things are going, where things are at. Okay, so let's start. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Post three cards for you and then you move to your person. So what is happening? Currently, you're just being very practical. I, 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 I believe that you're not trying to make any sort of emotional decisions. Okay, you guys are thinking uh, things through. Okay, with the world card, many of you guys recently have cut someone off, or if if not a person, recently you, you have gotten rid of something that was bothering you. Okay, it could be a person, a job, or a family member, you know. So it it, it could be anything. Okay, it's like what like whatever stress you had, you have literally cut that off. Okay, and you're trying to be, be very practical. Okay, one more card. Second card we have again okay, the king and the queen of swords. Okay, so you ha you are just going to be a little uh, you know like I would say defensive. Okay, um, you, uh, if your person comes back, you might be ready to say a lot of things. Okay, and you're not going to hold back. If if you are upset with this individual and if they piss you, uh, you're going to just give it to them. Okay, so yeah, one more card. But at this moment, I see you being very much uh, practical about life, not trying to be uh, very much emotional. You're trying to get rid of it, okay? With five of cups in the reverse, yes, you know that you you kind of have lost that opportunity and you're trying to come to terms with that. You definitely had a lot of feelings for this person, but uh, they, they, they never really reciprocated things back with you, okay? With two of cups, um, you're trying to focus more on the ending than, than you know, of uh, believing that this things can turn out. Uh, in, in 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 your favor, or, or or this person can change. You know, you're 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 not really trying to think about that. It's it's been difficult for you, but you're still trying to force your way out of this connection. Okay. In terms of your relationship, what's the over and Okay, with seven of pentacles, this person has kept you waiting for a really really long time, and uh, you have lost your patience now. With three of swords, I believe that they did something that kind of hurt you a lot this could be a third party this could be uh, giving you false promises this could be just ghosting you okay with page of uh, wands i definitely see a message here uh, coming from your person's side uh, they definitely have that intent uh, for many of you, this person could be slightly younger than you. If if not by age, then by, you know, their, 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 their mentality is such that they are not very mature, okay? I feel this person is definitely having a lot of intent to reach out message. I would suggest anywhere between 90% to be quite honest. One more card. Yeah, with the chariot card, it means the same thing that your person definitely wants to come forward. Okay, like what was getting in the way, like what was bothering them, the major blockage. I feel for many of you, this could be a third party. Okay, three of cups is usually a third person. It doesn't always have to be romantic. It could be their friend who was, you know, manipulating them otherwise. I also see judgment here. Judgment speaks about someone having to let go of something in order to choose you. Say suppose they were active into a third party relationship. They had to get rid of it. Okay. Some of you, this person was married and, and, and they had to get rid of that. Not rid of that marriage, but you know, get out of that marriage. Uh, like, uh, you know, following the procedure. Okay. And they did not do that. One more card. For some of you, they were just too childish and they're not willing to change much, okay? And that has all, 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 always been the problem uh, with your person, okay? In terms of uh, their current feelings for you. Current feelings for you, I'm getting seven of cups. See, your person, uh, they definitely have a lot of attraction for you, but when it comes to feelings, they sometimes are confused whether they do really love you or they have lust. You know, they, they are confused. Uh, a major part of them is self-obsessed, self-focused, uh, selfish, if that's the term, okay? And this person, whenever you get away, that is when they chase you, okay? Otherwise, they are not bothered. Otherwise, they are focused on their own life, finances, personal space, okay? Uh, top card we have is the Empress card. Everything has to revolve around themselves. If it's not, then they have a problem. Now that you are not giving in your way or you are trying to move on, there's a good chance that your person will try to uh, reach out just for a validation, just for, uh, you know, like 
a confirmation okay one more card in terms of their major feelings heart space i'm getting two of pentacles i do not see a lot of uh, emotions okay there's a good chance your person has involved a third person in their life okay so that is the reason why they are confused a part of them doesn't want to lose you a part of them doesn't want to change for you i hope that makes sense okay so like what is their major intentions towards you now the temperance card they definitely want to come to terms with you like uh, beyond good talking terms okay with three of pentacles yeah that means the same thing they, they want to uh, possibly reach out and want to see if things can go with you okay but what is their major intent what do they want with you now six of pentacles i still believe that they'll they, they'll they'll breadcrumb you i don't see a major uh thing coming out of this relationship okay so what can uh you expect out of this person out of this relationship from this person out of this relationship sorry <laughs> the lovers card i see a lot of red flags in this reading you know like um your, your person is not someone you can trust with seven of wands they'll they'll come to you but uh they'll have a lot of restrictions you know they'll they'll not want to give in they, they'll they'll not want to tell you everything so i see a lot of deceptive energy you know it's um yeah with two of wands they'll be halfway in and halfway out so if you're willing to be a part of this thing then good for you otherwise you should be focusing on uh, new things in life okay uh for Capricorn who are uh, with a new person what's happening with them Capricorn if you're with a new person there's a good chance that that might move in a forward direction or in a positive direction this person definitely has a lot of uh, interest towards you and they want to know you more when i say know you more not just otherwise i also see sexually okay uh, right now things are not very clear um, you know with eight of swords your person definitely has certain fears okay i do not know exactly what but uh, they definitely want to know you more or know you deeper before they open up okay so there's a good chance that your person could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius if it's not i also see a libra to be quite honest with you libra or uh, for selected few of you this could be a scorpio okay so yeah the ace of wands i definitely feel like uh, the, the new connection you are a part of has a lot of potential uh, a lot of attraction there a lot of sexual chemistry there you might not have emotions for this person because you are still coming to terms with the past relationship but i see a lot of sexual tension with the two of you okay one more card with six of wands i see you getting a lot of attention from this individual so there's no reason to worry okay if it's a past relationship then that is something you should ignore okay and i'm being very straightforward about it uh if even though i know major of you will be pissed off okay and uh, for all those who are single and you have had a past messed up connection there's a good chance you will meet someone new okay so be open for that do not be focused on negative thoughts and think, uh, you know like uh, i never uh, meet the right one no, i all i always attract fuck boys you know try to stay away from those thoughts okay so what does capricorn need to know ego and distance so your person definitely has a lot of ego issues i'm i'm major talking about your past person and that has been the reason for the distance besides well, like the, the three other reasons i gave you okay will return in future so they do have a lot of intent to return uh, but they could take some time okay because of the ego okay that thing has to dissolve okay one more card what do i mean by future future doesn't have to be a long time you know it, it can be two weeks okay so i feel that this is something that you should stay away from moving away look elsewhere so that is a very direct message okay um, i i believe that this person knows that they have done you wrong and that nothing good can come out of this connection okay and they have majorly been focused elsewhere truth be told um straightforward um right now 
one clear message to you is uh, you need to look at it, my darling, because staying this connection is all is only going to make uh, you go through more shit. You'll have self doubt. You'll think that you have you lack some that that is the reason why connections don't don't work for you. When when in reality you are attracting fuck boys. You are uh, with a deceptive person who has a lot of healing to do before he even thinks of getting into a relationship. So I hope that is clear. So yes, this was your reading for the sign of Capricorn. A very much straightforward reading. So. I hope it made sense to you. I hope it's clear to you. And if it resonated, kindly hit the like button. Do let me know in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, all those who want a personal reading and whoever like my straightforward style, no BS, then you could go to my website and book one for yourself. Thank you so much for coming in, and I hope to see you guys soon. Cheers. Choose yourself and do not try to, um, you know, just want someone because you don't want to stay single. That is the uh, last thing you want in life. Okay, just because you want to. have a person doesn't mean you you um, be a part of a toxic connection okay so please keep that in mind thank you so much